Hey beautiful. Today I want to talk about not letting your skin condition dictate how you want to live your life. I know what it's like to struggle to even look in the mirror. I know what it's like to battle with being seen physically, going out without a fresh face. It's tough and I get it. I know when I was on the decline, as my skin was getting worse and worse, I was so desperate to find an answer. I was so angry with myself. I was frustrated with myself, how I looked. There are degrees of self-hate. <laughs> I know that's a strong word, but it's true. If you want to change you, there is a degree of self-hate. There's a difference between wanting to grow and not accepting who you are, what you look like and where you're at. Huge difference. The thing that I've found the most heartbreaking when I hear beautiful people like you tell me that their life is ruined, they can't do this, they can't do that, they sacrifice their career, their relationships, they put off all the things that they want to do, be and experience in life because of what they look like. Don't let that be you. When I was on my decline, I started to do less. I started using my skin condition as an excuse not to go on dates, get my dream job, not to go after what I want. Like it was literally an excuse for everything because I felt so much shame and I was depressed, I'm not gonna lie. But then I got worse and worse and worse, my skin condition spread all over my face. It was like an open wound. I couldn't wash it, it was filthy, it was awful, it was painful, it was dry, it had these big black scabs, it couldn't be washed. It was devastating, it was devastating. I looked like a monster and I was all blown up and swollen. And I couldn't eat anything. I was a mess. My entire body was a mess. It wasn't just my skin anymore. And then I looked back at my mediocre skin only a few months earlier and I thought, if only I could look like that. What was devastating to me three months earlier was now a dream. <laughs> we could always be worse. And now, whenever I catch myself using my skin condition as an excuse, I stop and I go, look how far you've come. Look how beautiful you are. And the truth is loving the skin you're in is the key to clearing your skin. <laughs> Don't wait. Being seen, doing what you need to do is the key. Tell me, do you want to wait for hindsight to give you perfect vision of how beautiful you really are? We'll see it now. What's one thing that you're not doing because of your skin condition? Let me know in the comments below and do it. Commit to a date and time you're gonna do it. If you decide that you wanna love your life and you wanna be everything you wanna be, you are so much more than your skin condition. Like, what the fuck? You're so much more than what you look like. This is bullshit, this idea that we are less than because we like look a certain way it's just like 
racism and gender biases. It's bullshit. <laughs> all of it. It's all surface level stuff. That is not who you are. So commit today to doing whatever it is you have been putting off. I love you. Mwah.